there this is a cell phone charger case as you can see it holds the phone nicely this is a samsung it's really wide and it's just held there with the plug if you if you want to make it slightly smaller just take off an extra inch here or you can adjust the handle i have over 500 tutorials on my sewing channel so don't forget to subscribe for this cell phone holder you are going to need two pieces of fabric four and a half inches by nine inches so these are my two here and i am also going to be using some foam for my interfacing you can use fusible fleece or you can use some batten i just thought this would give us more stability for the cell phone holder so all these are the same sizes you're going to need a piece of binding which is going to be one and a half inches by six inches another two pieces of fabric five inches by four and a half inches and here this is the fusible interfacing and one side is fusible and it's a fleece and I thought it was going to be overkill using another piece of foam again so I've used a bit of a thinner piece of interfacing for this section and for the handle part it is two and a half inches by ten inches first of all you're going to get your five inch section and four and a half and your five inch is going to go up and your four and a half is going to go across first of all fleas first of all you are going to attach or adhere your fusible interfacing to one of the sections so i'm going to do that right now once one side has been adhered with that fusible put the other part on the back of it like so goes this way around and then just stitch a really scant quarter at the top scant quarter is just a little bit shorter than a regular short a quarter i sew using a baby lock soprano i'm not paid nor sponsored to create this video and in the top of our thread is a white polyester gusman thread and in our bobbin is a white thread also these are the settings that i will be using and in my sewing needle i'll have a 9014 microtech sewing needle take the binding section making sure that the five inches is going up and down and we're going to attach the binding section to the top part that's going to be our pocket so we're going to do this and then we're going to wrap this binding section completely around and wrap it also around here so it looks like this i'm going to take it over the sewing machine and stitch a quarter of an inch Clip away any stray threads. Then what we do next is we pull all of this binding section up, like so. Turn it on the other side. And fold this over. And then fold it over again. So it creates a nice binding for the top of your cell phone case. So I'm going to clip this so it doesn't move on us. And then you're going to sew this into place. Let's put this piece to one side. And now we're going to be dealing with our four and a half by nine inch section. So you're going to get one of the four and a half by nine pieces of fabric. You're going to adhere it to that foam piece. If you're using foam or whatever you're using to stabilize it. I'm going to do that to one section. If you have any excess of the stabilizer showing through, just tidy that up. Now that is adhered to the foam, you're going to take this section and you're going to put it just on top there. Once again, just sew this down a scant quarter, just so it's not moving about on us for the next section. Now it's time to make the handle from the two and a half by ten inch. You're going to fold the handle from, you've got the right side on the table and the wrong side facing you fold it in half and press then you can open it up and fold over one section and press and then do the same with the other side and take over to your iron and press 
and then fold everything to the center so you're hiding all your raw edges now you're going to take this over to your sewing machine and stitch two rows down each side this in turn helps to keep it shut as well as making it look pretty now you're going to attach your handle to the top of the cell phone holder now this is up to you how long you want it to be so you can judge just by doing this because that's how it's going to end up looking so it's completely up to you how long or short you want it just make sure that the handle isn't twisted so you can measure it you can do it like one inch away or three quarters of an inch away just remember that you need that quarter of an inch for your seam so don't put it right next to the end like this you have to bring it in a little bit so you don't sew over the handle so we're going to clip that into place and we're going to clip this one into place then take your other section of fabric and you're going to place that right sides together over the top and you're going to take your wonder clips and you're going to grip everything into place so it doesn't move now you're going to want to leave an opening to turn everything right sides out and i would recommend at least two and a half inches and i'd also recommend that you do it past this binding that we did for the pocket and when we do go over this pocket here just go over a few times just making sure that that's all secure because you're going to be placing your cell phone in and out there's going to be a little bit of wear and tear on there so once you've placed your markings you're going to sew all the way around your cell phone pouch and then you're just going to stop here there's a lot of excess fabric so i am going to cut towards this these stitches but don't cut on the stitches because you're going to end up having to re-sew it so just cut some of this excess away and then this hole that we left here you're going to turn everything right sides through there now take this over to the iron turn the opening over and give it a nice press so it lays flat and also do it all the way around your cell phone holder take this over to the sewing machine and once again just do a scant quarter don't do a quarter of an inch stitch just do a really small stitch and then you will close this hole up here of the cell phone holder once you've done that you can put the cell phone into its holder and you're ready to start charging this is a Samsung phone, so it is quite a wide phone, as you can see. And if you think that this bit is too, too much at the, at the top here, then you can take off another inch if you want to make this cell phone holder again. And this is what the cell phone holder looks like when it's charging. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial, and I'll see you in the next one.